I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like the place. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Do you have any whiskey? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruined my life. I have to go. Sleep well. I wonder how I can turn off the light to let them know I'm here. Must be something around here that can help. I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. There! I've completed step 3 of the note. Now for step 4. So tell me again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes, sit back and learn, and I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Reyes. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. This is going to be a long night. There's no film in the camera. Whatever. Smile. Appears to be a male, approximately 40 years old. Looks like he's been in the water for 24 hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose and neck. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. But I found a card, possibly a key card from a hotel. And now we can head into town and find the local sheriff.
We should go find the sheriff. Signals are very strong tonight. What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. Yes, you already said that. But what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night. Deserted road. Me in a giant pigeon costume? It was too good to pass up. But the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? Hey, if the beak fits. We don't know anything about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. Very strong. This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. It'd still be scary and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. But I'd watch out for the signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. But playing classic adventure games has taught me to save often. That was true, up until Monkey Island. At least with LucasArts style adventures. Then the designers realized that death and dead ends weren't making the game more enjoyable. It was actually making it less fun. That seems like a sensible approach to adventure game design. It is. It just takes a little longer and requires more thought and planning. But it really pays off in the end. I think I've had enough of you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you, too. Eek! Woo! Click, click, click. Woo! Beep! Wah! No need. The perps are outside. Wait for me! Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. 
Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> Damn straight, we're the feds. Whoa! Hold your horse Arenos! No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is certain to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Arino, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people Arenos? We should go find the coroner. We should go find the coroner. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. <laughs> I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape and it will do a match a who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who? Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that, who? Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> hey, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who. Oh, yeah, almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. 
It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. Four. Thirty-two million nine hundred and twenty-one thousand and fifty-six. Eight point one eight five three five two seven seven two. Calculate aim. Calculate aim. Calculate aim. Calculate aim. Calculate aim. Calculate aim. Five. The primary function of the blood drive three thousand. Trademark. Patent pending is to analyze a blood sample and a bloody object to ensure arrest of the suspect. Procure a swab or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Procure a swab or other absorbent material and dab some blood on it. Insert a blood sample taken from a body along with a bloody object and I I mean the blood drawn 3000, trademark, will confirm a positive match. Locked off. Yes. One, a robot may not injure a human being or, through in action, allow a human being to come to harm. Two, the robot must obey the orders given it by human beings except where such orders would conflict with the first law. Three, the robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. Four, party light it's 1999. It should be. The primary function of the finger drawn 3000. Trademark is to analyze a fingerprint and find a match in the registry of known criminals and produce a report for the arrest on 3000. Trademark patent pending. Using official government issue fingerprint tape, place it on an object with fingerprints and the fingerprint will be transferred. It's around you somewhere. I'm not going to solve this whole crime for you. You're probably the kind of person that uses a hint guide, aren't you? Entering hibernation state. One thousand and seventeen miles. The average distance from the Earth to the Sun is 93,000 miles. At its closest orbit, the Sun is 91.4 million miles from the Earth. The Andromeda Galaxy is around 2 million light years away. Seriously, you've been playing too many adventure games. The primary function of the Phase 3000 trademark is to analyze a photograph of a dead body and compare it with an official photographic ID to provide a positive identification of the victim. Procure an official law enforcement camera, then do use camera with dead body. The Phase 3000 trademark requires official government identification that contains a photograph of the victim. Sure, whatever. Subroutine exit aim. It's empty. It's a medical skeleton. Please return. Chewy Caramel Center. Ugh. 
awarded to Dr. Mort E. Shun by Sheriff Crook. Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer Renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You're also the coroner, right? Oh, my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. You, I mean, the coroner said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction Areno. Every detail Areno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry Areno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Areno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Areno valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Areno. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Areno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Areno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Wanted. Shady Jane and the Sunshine Gang. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. I'd better leave the bag where it is. Welcome to the S&D Diner. I'll have one of these hot dogs. Good choice, honey. We're trying to move them out. Let me get that for you. Eat up, hon, while it's still hot. Oh my. That is the worst hot dog I've ever eaten. I, uh, gotta go.
Don't touch our Wrenchtron 3000. Only someone like me with the proper training can handle it. where we can talk. Alrighty now. Um, based on your sign, I was kind of expecting this place to be a bakery. Sorry about that, hon. This used to be Ricky's Cakes, but now we sell vacuum tubes. Sounds like an interesting turn of events. Anyway, I'm Special Agent Reyes. I have some questions for you. Oh, pleased to meet you. I'm Ricky Lee, and I'm the proprietor of this little store. What can I do for you, hon? Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, yeah, I heard about that. <laughs> it's super sad. The poor guy. Can't imagine anyone from around here doing something so awful. What do you think of Chuck? Oh, it's so sad that Chuck Edmund passed away. He was my hero. His booming economy gave us the bakery, and now his two-based technology is giving me a chance to keep my store open. I think it's just the boost the town needs. Since you don't sell cakes anymore, what's your store called now? Not really sure. I've been bouncing a few ideas around since the pivot. I don't suppose you have any suggestions. Tubular Tubes. Oh, that's a great name. I'm so lucky you wandered in today. The kindness of strangers is amazing. Glad I could help. That's all for now. Don't leave town. Okay, hon. Just holler if you need me. The doors are locked and nobody's inside. Excuse me, ma'am. My, my, my. What do we have here? I'm sorry, ma'am. I don't pay for affection. <laughs> Sweetie, I'm not a hooker. Although, there is something about a man in federally mandated polyester that makes me want to forget my wedding vows. I'm Lenore Edmund Mulch, of the famed Pillowtronics Edmund family, and I'm waiting for my husband and son to arrive on the bus. Tell me about Pillowtronics. Pillowtronics was the brainchild of my uncle, the great entrepreneur and genius inventor Chuck Edmund. The Edmunds made this town great when we opened the Pillow Factory. My family, even my stupid little sister Dolores, might as well be royalty as far as Thimbleweed Park is concerned, sweetie. What are you doing at the bus station? I'm just waiting for my husband and son to arrive, but it seems they will be a while. Maybe you and I could go and get better acquainted in the meantime, sweetie? Sorry, but I'm working on the case right now, ma'am. Tell me more about Pillowtronics. I heard he closed down because of a fire. Yes, yes, yes. An incompetent security guard ruined our family legacy with his negligence. But let's talk about something more pleasant. Did you know the security guard at Pillowtronics? You're asking an awful lot of questions about this fire, sweetie. I... Uh... Now play nice and ask me something fun, Agent Cutie Pants. Do you know anything about the body by the river? Oh, sweetie. Yes, yes, yes. So glad someone is finally getting rid of it. But one does hear things, and I do have an inkling of who might be connected to this nasty business. Tell me who you think is connected to the body. 
Well, I hate to cast aspersions, but I suppose it is for the good of the town. Tell me what you know. Actually... No, I can't do this. The Edmund reputation is at stake. Ma'am, please tell me what you know. Fine, it was my sister Dolores. She abandoned our family and the business to become a... Pirate? No, 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 no. It was far worse. She became... A video game developer. It all started a few years back. She only wanted one thing. To be a game designer for that awful game company. Mucus phlegm. Uncle Chuck wanted something else for her, but no. She was too selfish. Only wanted to make stupid adventure games. I've got to get out of this town. Uncle Chuck wants me to program his factory computers, but I just want to design games. I wish I could get a job at a company like Mucus Flem Games. Now the only thing I have to look forward to is my favorite computer magazine. In fact, I should check the mailbox and see if it's arrived yet. It's my handy ASCII chart. Never know when you'll need to decode binary messages, so I always practice, every day. You idiot! I'm just trying to, you know, help. Is that yelling? Oh, gag me. I hope my dad and Uncle Chuck aren't fighting again. And since most of the machinery at the pillow factory is lying fallow, I've come up with this, you know, great plan to repurpose them. We can use them to make, you know, plush toys. Franklin, you idiot! The company is Pillowtronics, not stupid plush toytronics. We make pillows! What do you think that would do to our credibility, our reputation? O okay, Chuck, you're right, but um, I was up all night working on the business plan. Maybe uh, you could just, you know, look at it? No, no, no! It's a pillow factory! Are you two fighting again? I'm getting so sick of this! Your brothers! Take a chill pill! You started the pillow factory together! Won't you ever stop fighting about it? Nothing you need to worry about, Dolores. Uh, right, Franklin, old brother? Ah, yes. You know, your uncle and I were just, uh, you know, talking business. I have some work to do. Dolores, can you get my .8 millimeter point tip soldering iron? You know, Uncle Chuck, you should use a 2 millimeter flat tip, and you never heat your solder hot enough. <laughs> That's my favorite niece. I can't wait for you to take over the pillow factory. I know you'll keep the Edmund pillow dream alive. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. Carefully handling broken glass? If this were a Sierra Online graphic adventure, I'd be dead now.
but those Mucus Phlegm Adventure games treat their players much better. No arbitrary deaths just to extend gameplay? Sure would like to work there. I should check the mailbox for my computer magazine. There's nothing inside except an empty glass. Hi there, George. I was just about to check the mail. Great timing! You still around, Dolores? Thought you'd have left this podunk of a town by now. Yes, hopefully soon. I'm looking for a job at a game company in the big city. That's not gonna make your Uncle Chuck happy. He'll just have to deal with it. What brings you all the way out here? I have your special magazine here. Oh, I've been waiting for that. Thank you. Sure, it's what we dedicated government employees do. Walk all the way out into the country to deliver a magazine. It's Bite Me World, the best computer magazine ever. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. I hear they make movies, too. This could be a dream come true! I'm going to apply. Interesting. There's a modem number to call. Wow! An ad for a job at Mucus Phlegm Games, my favorite game company. This could be a dream. I'm dialing the mucus phlegm modem number. It's connecting. I can't believe my computer is connected to mucus phlegm. Welcome to the new online mucus phlegm job application program. Just fill out your personal information and answer a few simple mucus programming questions. Then print out the application and send it to mucus phlegm. We'll get back to you in exactly five days. What is your name? Thank you. What is your address? Noted. Next, what's your programming language of choice? The language you are most proficient in. Very ambitious. We like that. Please answer the following questions about our proprietary mucus programming language. You must get all of the questions right to submit your application. Okay, first question. This is an easy one. Next question. Also an easy one. Reference counted. Hmm, a little harder. Ah, debugging is on a second monitor. Last question. Ouch, this is going to take some thinking. Got it! Exclusive ore! Thank you for taking the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Congratulations, you passed the Mucus Phlegm Programming Test. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Hmm, I printed my job application, but the page is blank. Maybe the printer is out of ink. That should do it. The ribbon is now fully inked. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. Oh, there's no paper in the Printron 3000. There, 
the blank paper is back in the Printron 3000. Yay! I answered all the mucus questions correctly. I'm ready to print out the application. I always like to watch this part. That sounds like the doorbell. That sounds like the doorbell. Hi again, George. It's not like a government employee to make a mistake, but I forgot to deliver this important letter for your Uncle Chuck. He's busy in his workshop and can't be disturbed. I'll take it for him. Okay, Dolores, here it is. And remember, it's illegal to open someone else's mail. Punishable by a $50,000 fine and or five years in jail. Thanks, George. That's good to know. Okay, back to my vitally important government job. It's a letter to my Uncle Chuck. I'd better not open it. Uncle Chuck would know if I read it if the envelope is ripped. Dig in! How exciting! I hope I get the job! Hiya, Dolores! I have a letter for you! Oh! Good luck! See ya! Diggin'! Diggin'! I think I want to open this in my room, just in case it's really bad news. Now that I'm in my room, I'm still so scared to open it. I need to get up my nerve. Come on, Dolores. You can do it. Okay, but if it's a no, that means I'm stuck in Thimbleweed Park and have to take over the pillow factory. Okay, but if it's a yes, what will become of Dad? Stuck here alone with Uncle Chuck. Okay, but... Okay, okay, I'm opening it. Yes! It's a job offer from Mucus Phlegm to be a game programmer. I'm so excited! Can't wait to tell Uncle Chuck. He'll be so proud. But first... Uncle Chuck, I have something for you. What is it, Dolores? A letter George the Postman delivered, uh, recently. Oh, I've been expecting this. I'll deal with it later. Uncle Chuck! Uncle Chuck! Great news! Yes, Dolores, what is it, my dear future leader of Pillotronics? I, uh, here, read this. You're what? You're giving up the opportunity to run Pillotronics to be, uh, to be a game programmer? Yes, that's what I've always wanted to do. Not run Pillotronics. I'm leaving on the first bus out of Thimbleweed Park. 
then, Dolores. You are out of my will. You're giving up over ten million dollars. That's twenty million in 2017 dollars. Just to pick an arbitrary date in the future. You are dead to me. Dolores broke Uncle Chuck's heart and started programming those murder simulators. Real life murder is the next logical step for her, sweetie. Stop her before she schemes her way into sweet Uncle Chuck's inheritance. Sure, we'll get right on that. Come back and see me soon, sweetie. Ciao. There's no path beyond this point. It just looks like unfinished temp part from a cut room. Hmm. I haven't seen Agent Ray for a while. Wonder what happened to her. Hello, Reno. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is uh, uh, quite annoying. No, sir. Yes, sir. They have been taken care of. Yes, sir. Permanently. Oh, yes, sir. Violently. No, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, wrestling was quite good tonight. Goodbye, sir. <laughs>